Okay. This is going fine. This is going fine. This reminds me of like I just thought of this. This just reminds me of slightly of a high quality Monty Python animation, you know, where they just sort of travel like in uh, the Holy Grail when they're traveling over the mountains. It's like a higher quality version than that. I, I will I will not disagree with you there, Fal. He is good. <laughs> Respectable opinion, only slightly wrong. I'll let you guys fight that one up. You're close enough to hear dredge rattling through the buildings below. Pull them out of the houses, Mogger suggests. Slag just can't resi resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in an open field. Take the fight to them. I don't like this. We'll skirt the village. Hmm. Hmm. Take the fight to them. Screw it. We'll be fine. Hey, Shooter Q. Welcome to the stream. This is my first time. Yes, indeed. This is the first time I've played through it. I was suggested this by my chat. And uh, I am very glad they did, because I'd never even heard of it, stupidly enough. And it's awesome, because it's just the kind of game I like. Strategy, it's action, story, decisions, everything. I'm in for right, yeah, so I've heard. So I've heard. I'm already thoroughly enjoying it. I've had, I had one stream last week when I did, started this off, and I'm just continuing it today. So I'm going through all this and the second one. And whenever it comes out, the third one as well. You send your shield bangers forward to get their attention. Before long, the dredge have gathered, ready for a fight. Let's do this. This is another one of these. There must be at least 497 of them. We're not sure. We did a rough count. It's at least 497. Can't say for sure that it's 500. <laughs> it's at least 497, though. Charge. Fuck it. Rush into battle. This is the same as last time as well. We will lose not a single Varl. Alright. Oh, we've got... Oh, shit. Oh, cool. We can just promote them from this screen. Well, that's fine. Uh, yes, Mogger definitely can have a promotion. Give him four shield bash. Yes. More damage is also what he requires. Lovely. You're turning into a beast, Mogger. Hook on, rank three, war master. Nothing I can do with him. You, I don't have enough to promote you. I need to do something with this guy as well. He can, he will be good, but he needs to, to rank up. Ludin has stolen all of the kills and now can be promoted. Um... All right, more armor break, definitely. And more armor for you yourself. Yeah, we need to fix this. Okay. Okay, Siege Archer. Promote. Promote. Oops. I keep, why do I keep trying to click that? Okay, and you can also get more shield break because that's important. And I'll give you more shield yourself as well. Seems sensible. Eirik, nah. How does he, how does he get promoted? I haven't used him. Maybe I just forgot that I had a promotion for him last time. But I've only got 14th, and I'm not using him at the moment, so I shall... Ludin goes up again. 10. I don't have that much renown. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I probably should, but I'm going to wait. Because I need more renown. Oh, I've got Gris now. All right, well, let's 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 swap those two then. Because... Oh, or not. Uh, There we go. Because I haven't used Gris. And Bercy has been a little bit shit. Uh, it's not gonna start a tactic story music. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and the, the art as well, not to, not least of all. Uh, for, <laughs> sorry, I was ignoring chat for a bit there. <laughs> I was focusing on my... Shooter has never ever seen Gris. It's because I beat the shit out of him when he came and he was talking shit about me. He was saying, why should I follow this guy? And I turned to him and said, do you want to fight, pal? We fought. I kicked him into the dirt and then he came up and was like, I kind of want to fight with you now. <laughs> so I've got him. I don't know if he's any good. Um, what is he? Hang on. What What is he? He's a strong arm. Do we have any of those? I don't know what a strong arm is. Well, there we go. Let's we'll find out. Yeah, that guy exactly. So apparently he just joins your uh, joins you afterwards. <laughs> You're a Ludin user. Well, my chat is making me use Ludin. Sorry, I'm just I'm just reversing through chat. <laughs> my chat is making me use Ludin. I think he's a bit of a prick, but he seems all right to start with. All right, let's go. Enough. We need some action. We need all of the action. Oh, this is fine. Oh, hang on. I didn't see these two. Never mind. This is no... <laughs> Why would she just like... I'm safe here. <laughs> no, you're not. You're safe over here, darling. Um. Okay. You go to there. Ludin, hold back. Gris, 12, 12, 6. That's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, it seems decent. 
Mogger, you can probably... No, I want you in front, actually. Mogger, swap. Please, men. Mogger, I want you in front. I'm sorry. Oh, that's Hulkon. I'm an idiot. They're, just, they're, they're too similar from behind. <laughs> oh. Your chat no just liquid. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> that was mostly liquid for the start, though. <laughs> um... All right, so what we're going to do, plan is as follows. Mogger and Hokon will go up and take on these three. Oops, excuse me. Do not move when I don't want you to. Um, Gris is going to come down here, along with Ludin, who's going to move to there. And you're actually going to move to there. That's probably just about where we started. But <laughs> it seems like a better plan. So these two are going to go for these two, and then turn around and come back and help up here. These two are going to hang manage just fine with these at the start. Or so I think. Okay. So, yeah. Good start. We move you to here. So this guy's now blocked in. Um, we will just wreck your armor. And yep, perfect. Gives you a little bit of bonus there for those two. Awesome sauce. Um, yeah. You're going to go here, exert yourself a little bit, and do seven damage to this guy. Actually, no, you're just going to murder him straight away. <laughs> okay, that works. That works just well. Just as well. I can't talk. Excuse me. Okay, okay. How much exertion do you have? Two. So I can do eight damage to him. I'll maybe leave that for the moment and just kill him in a couple of turns. You're not even going to do anything. Right, so what do you do? Gris. Battering ram. Knock the target back through. Oh, yeah, I know you were this one. I remember this one. I did have one of these. But he's in the other group. That was it. Now I remember. All right. Go for the kill. Absolutely go for the kill. <laughs> Gunnar Fake the muscle. Yeah. Gunnar is ridiculous. He does so much damage when he's not been murdered by everyone. This is fine. Oh, that's not so fine. Hang on a minute. Okay. Exert yourself a little bit there. I hate the way he runs. We need to work on that, Ludin. <laughs> we need to work on that. Uh, Alright, you can now deal... Sh or should... It no, no. Shield, and then let the big boys take care of it. You are going to take about three years to get into combat, so that's fine. Okay. Can I hit anyone from anywhere? Okay, yes. I can hit you from double extension. That's fine. We can get rid of more or get rid of all of his armor and then he will just be dead whenever one of these guys hits him it's fine it's absolutely acceptable um we're gonna do six because then it'll get rid of his and a bunch of his lovely okay 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 Get rid of more of his armor, and then we'll also fuck up some of these guys. Beautiful shit. Lovely stuff. Okay. Yeah, now you die. Horribly. In so much pain that you just pass out before you're even dead. Hulkon, on the other hand, is starting to <laughs> worry me a tiny bit. Nine damage. Beautiful. Or, actually, eleven, excuse me. I think you'll find. No, leave Hokon alone! God damn it. Alright, time for a kill steal from the classic kill steal. <laughs> He's like, yes, look, I can do something. <laughs> uh, why did I even. I didn't need to do that, did I? I think he only had like two health. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter too much. Uh, you actually cannot do anything, so I shall move you to here. Okay, yeah, so you. Let's just end your turn. End your turn, woman. You'll be fine. Ow. That's a lot. Ooh, you don't have that much shield left. Oh, but you can just murder him. So this is fine as well. Go. Kill it. Yeah, you can call me whatever you like. To be fair. Zin, Zinni, Zinixia, any of the above is absolutely acceptable. All right, now we just got this one poor fool left. Uh, you cannot do anything, so you can just rest. Gunulf, 
Uh, you also can't do anything. You can just rest. As can you. Uh, you can maybe do something. Uh, nope. No, you can't. I'll move you to there, just in case. Mm, you sh Oh, yeah, you might actually... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, but you get another shot. You get another shot. Um... No, there's no point. Let's just move him away and hope that he doesn't follow. <laughs> Although he probably will. No, he, do he can't. He can't. Right, excellent stuff. That's, I mean, uh, that was deliberate. That was deliberate. Um, but yeah, with regards to what I play as well, I, I play a whole bunch. Liquid's probably covered it. I haven't read. There's been too much chat from what I'm concentrating. Um, Liquid has probably gone through it all, but I play like a whole bunch of different things. And I just take suggestions from what people are interested in who watch the stream. Because I have it in Discord. Uh, which you can see down below the stream. And people just vote. More or less. Uh, yeah. Kill this man. Kill this man. Dead. Absolutely dead. Oh, they did roast you in Age of Empires 3. Yeah. I mean, I don't play that online, though. I don't play that on stream, though. I don't... I don't think there's that many people who are interested in my level of Age of Empires 3 play. Hmm. Take a moment to wait. We beat the shit out of them. Oh god, no, no. Pull back, pull back. We've, we've, we've taken too much damage already. I'll be a little bit low T this time. <laughs> the dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into the distance. <sighs> oh, I still lost no people. That's fine then. That's fine. Hey Grim, welcome to the stream. Liquid did get his internet back. He did, he did. The German has finally fixed the internet. Bodies blanket the area as though the snow itself had turned black and red. You walk between clusters of survivors, taking account of your warriors. Eventually you cross paths with Mogger. This was a tough one, he says. Hope we don't face worse the further we go. But this could be a hint of things to come. You nod. Let's check out that village. The wounded are gathered and you head towards what is left of the village ahead. <laughs> Those cute farl colouring the snow with their dredge corpses. Yeah, it's what you do. You know, it's a, it's a form of artwork. It's like modern art of the day. They didn't have very many materials to work with. You wander through the small village, where there had been where there had been the cacophony of battle before. Now an eerie silence hangs over the place. Bodies of dredge and villagers make a macabre path to houses that have been ripped apart as if by a tornado. If they're in what is supposed to be this world's version of Norway, how the hell do they know what a tornado is? Just, just a quick question. Irsa stopped in her tracks. Irsa? She's French, by the way. Uh, she all but whispers. It sounds like crying. Soon you discover a trapdoor, partially hidden by a carpet. Well, this isn't until dawn, so I'm going to open the hatch. A woman's... Ah, a woman's scream dies in her throat at the sight of Varl instead of Dredge. Men and women both are huddled together. A baby cries on her mother's shoulder. They are clearly awed to see so many warriors. What do we do now? <laughs> they ask. Go to Strand, we've cleared the way. Go to Strand, we'll send escorts with you. Stay here if you'd like. Go to Strand, we've cleared the way. I'm not sending anyone with you. I need them. They give you worrying looks, but eventually begin gathering their things. Think they'll make it? Asks Mogger. Doubt in his voice. You don't know, but trying has got to be better than starving to death in a pit. <laughs> Stones would probably make good pencils. Eh, yeah, maybe. Eirik watches. I don't remember what voice I gave him. I think it was Northern. I almost feel guilty about this, he says. An Ostrand. Even if they make it in one piece, the locals will tear them apart. Not literally, of course, but, well, maybe literally. I might join them. Uh, thin your excuse to run home. <laughs> thin excuse to run home, mate. We need to hear. Go if you wish. Because I'm not using you anyway. Then I will, he says. He throws on his pack and soon catches up to the refugees. Yeah, I'm not using him anyway, so he can go. It's fine by me. Um... I'm just going to take a very short uh, bathroom break. I will be right back in about one minute. Bear with me.
Thank you for your patience. I have now returned. Oh. Someone's singing through a shitty megaphone. And they're terrible. Okay. <laughs> Market, yes. More food. Is that all they have? Oh, total available. It literally says right there. Confirm. What have we got? A world hook. An enormous fishing hook thought to be the... Oh, we had this. We had a look at this before. The Valking Skrimmer pulled a whale from the Silverstone. Two break. Could be kind of good, actually. Statue of a sightless man. A figurine occasionally carried by older warriors who believed it could temporarily blind their enemies. 20% dodge strength attacks. Plus two strength. Decent. Obsidian powder. The fragments of shattered dredge obsidian carefully ground to a powder, will sometimes explode when applied to a weapon. Knockback on strength attacks of four. Not of four or more, just of four. <laughs> okay. Studded pommel. This is a cat's paw. Clearly. Uh, heavy pommel adds a little weight to your knockback on attacks of five. Mm -hmm. Why is that m less expensive than... I don't know. Oh, yeah, because it's lower. Idiot. <laughs> Tistleberry. An addictive berry found deep in the Langloom forest when eaten makes one feel pretty good about things. <laughs> Plus two will on rest. Alright, well I want this. And I kind of want this, but it seems maybe not. Too expensive at the moment. He's surprisingly good. Oh yeah, Grim, I forgot you've been playing this. Yeah, I've already discovered that actually. He's not bad. He's not bad at all at the moment. Um. So yeah, Ooh, what, is, what is this? Oh, it's the Sportraki Boor. Yeah, of course. I know what that is. Uh, a gleaming gemstone that seems to drive enemies into a frothing rage for no clear reason. That does not seem good. Plus two drawing aggro, plus 5% uh, dodge strength attacks. That's a maybe. That's getting a maybe. Plus break that was going to Mogger straight off the bat. I can tell you that. Uh, promote Hokom. Confirm. And give him more strength. And more shield. Lovely. He's almost maxed out. Beautiful. Give that to Mogger. Yeah, I did. See? <laughs> the aggro thing. That seems like a bad plan. I'd rather him have him give have ugh, I'd rather he had two extra break. Can he have more than one wet one thing? No, he cannot. I'd rather he had the extra two break, if I'm honest. I may be wrong, but I want to try it out. Gris. I can afford to promote you. Gris is actually decent. I respect Gris. He admitted when he was wrong. And then he came and offered his help. So, uh, yeah. I respect Gris. Have an extra damage. How he's the tank? But yeah, because he because I want him to do more shield break. Because he's already got, like, f what is it? Four shield break. Now he'll have six. And I can extend that up to eight. He can do eight shield break. Chris is this person. <laughs> and he's good. He's the guy I beat the shit out of earlier. I told you. Oh, Luden. I should probably promote you. Well, can't afford it. Never mind. Next time. Next time. Market we looked at. Heroes we've looked at. We don't have anyone injured, so there's no need to rest. And great. Great is our morale. Good grammar. Uh, leave. You know now, but you never got him in playthrough. Ah, as you say, there's all these things that you that you'll see when uh, oh oh morale is now pale blue that you'll see that you didn't do because I have higher tea. Mm. Excuse me. You hear a shout echo on the wind, a standard varl greeting. How do how do you shout on the wind? <laughs> a caravan of varl are heading your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Oh, they are joining me. God, it's another accent. You must be with Vognir. Was. Vognir didn't make it. You're serious? It's getting grim out there. But didn't expect that. You're flying the Schil Schlid Schlid banner. I should have done German accent. What's happening? Isn't Ulfar in charge here? I'm Fasolt. Ulfar's still in shield. In case he needs to be. He sent me out to meet Vognir. Well, you. We see nothing happening in shield yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schl Schlid. They're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. They only just found out about it. 
One group went that way, and we came here. Lynchhorn, a fort on the bay. That place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, maybe that's why they're here. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Ludin forces his way into the conversation. Wait a godless minute, what did you do? Careful now. You'll be careful. What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in Arborang. The Second Great War was ne nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Well, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> this is the one that you were talking about. Who the farm is this? I gave him the perfect accent for doing that as well. Nobody. <laughs> I really want to say nobody. I really want to say nobody. Sh or actually, no, I want to say shut your mouth, Ludin, or I'll smash your face in. Hmm. Hmm. Who the farm is this? <laughs> so good. Uh, oh, God. I, I, shut your mouth, Ludin, or I'll smash your face in. <laughs> Ludin's head swivels in your directions, eyes wide. He seems uncertain whether to be insulted or threatened. What orders did Ulfar give you, Fasolt? I am supposed to offer any support you need. I've got 330 Var behind me, and Ulfar wants to know what's happening in Dreadhorn. What's your plan? Uh, we're going to Ridgehorn, you're coming. We're going to Ridgehorn, you take Ludin and go to Grothheim. Forget Ridgehorn, when do you go to Grothheim? We're going to Ridgehorn, and you're coming. I'll have my Varl fall in line. Yours to command, Håkon. Are you insane? He just said an army of Dreadra pouring out of that fort. Go on to Grothheim then, Prince. Having your blood on my hands would be worse than doing nothing. That, this shuts Ludin up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expected you to come along. He glances at his men. We're already in this far. If this is the Varl's doing, I'll know it. And so will my father. <laughs> he is that type. He's like, and I will tell my father if you... <laughs> I, I hate him. He's actually decent, but I hate him. Besides, you'll need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Ilsa and Bursi. Ludin's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mogger can't contain a chuckle. Ha! <laughs> the prince has courage. I'd rather you were safely in Grofheim, Ludin. Do it if you like, Ludin. Knock him out cold and send him away. Oh, man. Well, because his father is a king. I know that, but still. Handle yourself a little better. <laughs> Knock him out cold and send him away is a very, very tempting option. <sighs> Can't do that, though. I'd rather you were safely... Dude, I dare you. I double dare you. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. We've gone for it because you guys have asked for it. Before anyone expected it, you lay an open palm the size of a serving tray across the prince's face. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. We've killed him. He falls to the ground, flattened. Doesn't move. <laughs> Take him to Grofheim. What did that say? Oh, what, what was that? Was that minus morale? <laughs> I'll send a few warriors with him. <laughs> Hold on. This is the Prince of Men. We can't just leave him with some random varl and hope he makes it. Then what is the point of all these damn bodyguards? Listen, I wasn't sent here to babysit a human. These warriors are for Vognir. Well, for Hokon. If I merrily run back to Schlid, Ulfur's going to have my head on a pike. Don't try to tell me otherwise. Fine. Your son Bercy should be able to handle it. Just pray that nothing happens to him. Minus 45 fighters. Ah, okay. <laughs> you do not hate me, Liquid. Calm yourself. <laughs> Damn it, Hokon. This won't be easy to explain away. No, it probably won't. Plus 300 Varl. We're fine.